Hello again, everyone. This is Randy, your sewing machine man, and we're looking at a Brother Inovis MQ 650Q Quilt Club quilting machine. Of course, any machine that sews is a quilting machine, but that's the rage now. And thank God for these wonderful quilters, because I, everybody I saw today was a quilter. Today was a big day. A lot of Berninas, uh, a couple baby locks and a couple brothers, but uh, yeah, all quilters and bless their hearts. I love them to death because this way I don't have to work for a living. I can just fix sewing machines and talk to nice people all day. Blessed. Here we go. The reason we got this one in today is because it was feeding sideways. You'd take it off and the fabric would go sideways. It wouldn't feed straight. And that's sometimes a curious uh, mix of... Uh, the pressure it's on the presser foot, the presser foot itself, the feeders being crooked. Uh, this was a combination of the feed dogs. Let me see which one it is here. Yeah, this one right. The feed dogs had cut into the presser foot. See how it cut into there? And they were on crooked, so you see that it's at an angle. It was cutting at an angle. Let me get my handy little singer tool here to show you the emphasis. See, see those lines? They're not parallel. Those are uh, I mean, to the edge. You see they're going at an angle. The feeders were on crooked from the factory, fresh out of the box, feeders on crooked. So she took it in to another dealer who I will not name. Oh, Lordy. And uh, I started out in this business uh, competing with their grandparents. I'm competing with the grandkids. And I don't know if the grandparents taught them everything they needed to know or they just was having a, <clears throat> a day where they're overlooking things. But <clears throat> rather than looking underneath here and seeing where the feeders, the feeders are very hard, very hard metal, and very very rarely uh, do they wear out or need to be replaced. I've seen them break. I've never seen them wear down. But this, the bottom of your presser foot, that is a, a base metal underneath like copper, and it's got a thin coating of chrome because it's got to be smooth. Everything that touches on the machine, everything that touches the fabric and touches the thread is chrome plated. You'll notice the chrome highlights here. Chrome, 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 chrome. Anything that touches the fabric, touches the thread, is chrome plated because it's hard stuff. And uh, when the feeders do a number like this, it'll feed crooked no matter what. So they put new feeders on there and charge a little bit, a whole bunch actually, and uh, they didn't look underneath here to see if your story is you've worn the feeders down and you replaced the feeders. Well, it would only stand to reason what did they wear down against the bottom of the presser foot. You flip this over and it's pretty obvious what's going on. It's cut grooves in there and those grooves are deep. I can catch my nail in those grooves. They are really deep. So when you go to take off sewing, that's hanging up the fabric and it's going crooked. Even though you've got new feeders, which you didn't need in my estimation. Uh, I have drawers full of feeders and the rubber ones and the plastic ones and the ones that are, you know, they'll break and they'll uh, get fragile and things will happen to them. But to, to wear down a feeder that's got a nice sharp point on the top, I've never seen that happen. Only in 50 years, so I'm new. But anyhow, I'm going to put some new uh, presser foot on here. And I lined up the feed dog, set the feed dog height. And uh, see, that's what it looks like on the bottom when it doesn't have the grooves cut in it. See, that's just absolutely as slick as it can be. And I polished this off just to make sure. And you see, I, I made one pass on a polisher and already got that right down to the base metal. And I'm giving this to her because it was an extra I had in the drawer from a machine that I stripped and threw in the recycle bin. Uh, on the back of this, where the needle had hit it, I don't know how they even let this go out the door. She just had it at a shop. But on the back there, along the edge, where the needle is hit, you can hear it click, 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 where my, my screwdriver is hanging up on it. The, the On the back of it, where the needle hit it, was banged up so bad, and I left it that way. I didn't polish it off because I wanted her to see it. She won't be real happy because she just paid these people big money to service her machine, and it was still feeding sideways. Well, had they flipped it over and saw this, well, Eureka, it's got to be smooth. It can't be like that so just a real quick reminder if your machine's feeding crazy and you don't know what's going on check the bottom of your feed uh your presser foot rather check the bottom uh, you have more than one in there you have different ones you have the concave you have the flat you have the, the plastic uh transparent for making buttonholes and what have you so you can flip another one on there and solve the problem until you can get another one ordered but uh, a lot of these interchange from machine to machine so they're not hard to come by but you have to have a smooth surface on the bottom of your foot 
you can't have any jagged edges along the back where the needles hit it, hit it. and uh, uh, if someone tells you you've worn your feeders down, that's, I'm not sure that's right. Uh, I've never seen them wear down, not hardened steel against soft base metal. But anyhow, uh, that's it. Uh, that'll keep your machine sewing nice and straight. And I've sewn just a whole bunch of parallel lines here to make sure that we have a machine that sews absolutely straight and doesn't veer off. So I've run about 20, 30 parallel lines to make sure we can go absolutely straight as a die. All right. Brother Inovus, Quilt Club.